I, I wasn't prepared for a nuclear bomb to go off in my life. In fact, I thought there'd never be another good day. I thought we'd never have another good day. In 1998, realtor Bruce Johnson's first child was born with vital organs outside her body. It was devastating for two young parents and now is motivation for epic journeys that keep her memory alive by helping others. My daughter Alyssa was born just two floors above where I'm sitting right now. And she lived for 20 days here in the hospital and she passed away in our arms here. And ever since then, my wife and I wanted to do something where we gave back and we decided to do fundraising journeys through our motorcycle. So we created a, a foundation called Motorcycle for Miracles. Now, Bruce and his second daughter, Holly, embark on transcontinental trips that have raised over $600,000 for Children's Miracle Network hospitals in the US and Canada. The most recent trip literally took them to the ends of the earth. We flew up to the Arctic Ocean and we set out and over five and a half months, Holly and I rode from the top of the world to the bottom of the earth. And it was remarkable and, and it was difficult and crazy and it raised a lot of money and a lot of awareness, which is one of the reasons why we do these journeys. I've never experienced this before, the impact that he can have on complete strangers to want to donate to children's hospitals. Kilometer after kilometer, meeting people along the way, talking to other Remax agents, and the donations just start coming through. I'm like, Bruce, there you go again. Where are you today? Because are you in Argentina? Because I just got some donations. We remind people that the children in these hospitals have never done anything to deserve to be here. Cancer doesn't care, and that's why we have these hospitals. Not too long ago, I was a patient just up there on the eighth floor, which is the oncology ward. Every time a child is saved here, it's, it's because of the work of people giving money to these facilities. It's incredibly important. I know firsthand, and he knows firsthand, how hard it is to lose a child or a friend. I, I've lost many friends. If we have the funding for research and for treatment, then kids can survive. So Bruce goes to extremes to raise that money. We don't go to normal places. I mean, taking a motorcycle up the muddy dumpster highway and going through the Chilean, Patagonian Andes, winds that would try to kill us in southern Argentina, terrible, terrible cold, tropical rains. We had a great bear encounter, but there's never been a moment where Holly or I ever thought, we're done. Let's pack it up and go home. There's never been a moment where we thought of quitting because it's too important. And we're, we're, we're showing the kids in these hospitals that you finish what you start because the battles they're in right now are so much bigger than any battle we might be facing on the road. So there's no way we'd ever quit. And now there is also no way Alyssa Ray Johnson will ever be forgotten. In recognition of your outstanding fundraising and in tribute to Alyssa, we would like to name a room here at the hospital, oh. a patient room in honor of your daughter, Alyssa Ray. I promised her, I promised Alyssa that we'd never forget her. It's really powerful having a room named after her here now. So to come from that moment to where we are today, we did it. it's, uh, it's certainly been a, an incredible journey.